and welcome to another Photoshop Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to straighten up a perspective within a building or other things that possibly need to be straightened up and fixed. Now I photographed this building specifically so that I could show this technique. This is just a simple building in the middle of nowhere like in Australia we have a lot of these little buildings around the place and all I've done is stand straight in front of it and take a photograph of it. But as you can see, the lines of the side of the building are actually pointing away from me. That's because the perspective on the, of the camera is uh, looking up at the building. So the roof looks as though it's, it's squished in at the top uh, and the base looks like it's been you know, pulled out. We can in Photoshop fix this fairly easily and before I would do any other editing to this particular building, I would go in and fix all these straightenings and bits and pieces first. So first thing I'm going to do is just copy the background layer. That way, if um, as you're learning, if you do happen to make a mistake, you can delete the entire other layer and start again. So what I'm going to do is go up to Filter and Lens Correction. Now I'll just drag my lens correction in from my other screen here so that you can see what it's all about. Now with the lens correction, we can actually do some auto lens corrections um, and this is auto scaled the image. Um, I'm just going to make this a little smaller so I can see the entire picture. We've actually got it so that it's the lens has been profiled so it's already taken out as much of the distortion as possible as far as uh, when we look at uh, it looking like it's bubbled out and so on and I'll just show you what I mean by that. Sometimes you'll get photos that look a bit like that, so it's like bulging. But we've already fixed that because in um, the RAW, as I've imported it, I've actually gone and selected lens correction and it fixes anything that was within the, the lens to start with. But what we the problem we have here is a vertical and horizontal perspective. So I'm going to use the vertical perspective first. And you'll notice if I bring it forwards or backwards, you can start to see how it's actually moving that building. We want to make it so that it comes as straight on the side of the walls as we can possibly get it. And in this particular case too, you can also see that you can swing it one way or the other as well. So I might just bring it just a tad that way as well, just to make sure that I've got that nice straight lines across there as well as the nice up and down straight lines. So let's just click on OK there. Now if I turn the, that on and off, you can see very quickly how much of a difference that has made to that photograph. I could now start to look at what I could do to edit this image to make it a little more interesting. I hope you've enjoyed today's little lens correction tip and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.